Hello, in this video we will demonstrate how you can enforce a design level requirement down to the implementation level without the coders or implementers uh, not, not knowing about anything about it. So, <clears throat> in the other video we will be discussing more about logical operation abstraction, but here we will focus only on the operation specifications. So, uh, in this abstraction we've implemented an operation level specifications that, among other things, such as use cases, includes also requirement requirements. And within requirements, we have uh, freeform requirements, but also performance requirements that we can monitor and control within the code that the abstraction is generation, generating. So let's get back to the Visual Studio side. Here we have uh, an example operation of sort numbers, evens before odds. And it says it has operation specs with description and I still have the requirements section commented. So it's uh, full design documentation, writes out the specifications, all the structured parameters, execution steps, and so forth, but no no requirements or performance requirements are yet visible as they are dis disabled right now. The program itself is very simple. It runs uh, runs the sort sort uh, operation with ten integers first, and then with five million integers on the second side. And when I run it now without any performance requirements, it runs smoothly within like six or seven seconds, completing also the sort for the five million entries. Now, once we introduce the uh, requirement for the performance section, by simply uncommenting it in the demonstration, running the modular abstraction builders that are also introduced on the another set of videos, we can verify from the documentation that the requirement is now recognized. Uh, the operation is constrained on maximum uh, total time being allowed up to one second. Now when we go to the code, of course the uh, user's code using the operation is still the same. Running the operation results for timeout exception stating that performance is not within requirement. Maximum time allowed would have been one hour uh, thousand milliseconds. It took almost seven seconds to complete. Now let's look what the operation actually did, actually did when we added the requirement. This is the uh, standard generated code when we add the requirement, the generator recognizes it and simply uh, generates few lines of code that monitor the execution of the operation. So here it actually uh, initiates the or saves the uh, starting time and in the very end of the operation before completing the return value, it checks that the uh, total time that was within the requirement is met or otherwise it throws a timeout exception.